Now, using a credit card is an example of an open-end installment loan. This is also commonly called a revolving credit. Open-end loans differs from fixed installment loans, such as car loans and mortgages. There is no schedule for paying a fixed amount each period. Credit card loans require users to only make a minimum monthly payment that depends on the unpaid balance and the interest rate. Now, most credit card customers are billed every month. A typical billing period is May 1 through May 31, but it can also run from, say, May 5 through June 4. Customers receive a statement called an itemized billing. That includes the unpaid balance on the first day of the billing period, the total balance owed on the last day of the billing period, a list of purchases and cash advances made during the billing period, any finance charges and other fees incurred, the date of the last day of the billing period, the payment due, and the minimum payment required. Customers who make a purchase during the billing period and pay the entire amount of the purchase by the payment due date are not charged interest. Now the interest is calculated using the formula for the simple interest. I is equal to PRT, where R is the monthly rate and T is one month. The principal P is the average daily balance. But the average daily balance is the sum of all unpaid balances for each day in the billing period divided by the number of days in the billing period. So to understand how this one works, let's look at this example here. Now the issuer of a particular Visa card calculates interest using the average daily balance method. The monthly interest is 1.3% of the average daily balance. The following transactions occurred during May 1 and May 31 billing period. So these are all the transactions. We calculate the average daily balance for the billing period and then round it off to the nearest cent. And then calculate the interest to be paid on June 1, the next billing date, and round this off to the nearest cent. Find the balance due on June 1st. This credit card requires a $10 minimum monthly payment if the balance due at the end of the billing cycle is less than $360. Otherwise, the minimum monthly payment is 1 over 36 of the balance due at the end of the billing period round to the nearest whole dollar. Now, what is the minimum monthly payment due by June 9? So to calculate, let's find first the average daily balance for the billing period. First, let's make a table that shows the beginning date of the billing period, each transaction date, and the unpaid balance for each date. Originally, it has a balance of 1350 now, on May 8, a payment was made of $250. So after that, the balance on the card is $1,100. Then, on May 10, a purchase was made, $375. So therefore, the total balance after that is $1,475. Then, another purchase is made. 57.50 so therefore the total balance will be 1532.50 and then another charge was made of $65.30 to the card so therefore the total uh, balance at the end of May 28 is 1597.80 to calculate for the average daily balance we will extend our table by adding two columns. 
So one column shows the number of days at each unpaid balance. And then the final column would show us each unpaid balance multiplied by the number of days that the balance is outstanding. Number of days lapsed from May 1st to May 8th is seven days. And then here on this column here, you just multiply the unpaid balance times the number of days. So 1,350 times 7 is 9,450. For two days, the balance is 1,100. Then multiply that by 2, you have 2,200. The time lapse from 10 to 20, excluding 20, that is actually 10 days. 1,475 times 10 is equal to 14,750. The new balance, unpaid balance, starting at May 20 is 1,532.50. That runs for eight days between 28, May 28 to May 31st, including 31st, you have four days. Then if you add all these days here, it should total to 31. That's the total number of days in the billing period. In this column here, you just have to add up the sum here and that is equal to 45,051.20. To get the average daily balance, divide the sum of the unpaid balances for each day in the billing period, and that is $45,051.20. Then divide that by the number of days in the billing period. In this case, it's equal to 31. This is approximately equal to 1,453.26. Let's calculate the interest for that month. Now, the interest rate is given to be 1.3%. Use the simple interest formula, I equals PRT, where the principal is the average daily balance. The average daily balance multiplied by the rate, which is 0 0.013, that is equivalent to 1.3%, and then times 1, it's for one month. Multiplying this will give us approximately equal to $18.89. The balance due on June 1st is the unpaid balance on May 31st. And then you just have to add $18.89. That's the interest for that month. So therefore, the total balance due on June 1st is $1,616.69. Because the balance due is 1,616.69 and that exceeds 360, a customer must pay a minimum of 1 over 36 of the balance due. So that means you just have to divide this by 36 and that is equal to 45.